Hello, YouTubes. Yes, that was plural. Because I know there's a lot of you out there because you have left a lot of words in my one word game video. 104 words to be exact. And I will comment on each and every word that you left. Okay, first word comes from Akasans and her word is Indi. Well, Indi means independent. And if you're not independent, you are not free. And if you're not free, you're in jail. So if you're in jail, you're Indi. Tinan Lambert's word is love. I got a lot of this uh, word here on the comment section. And the thing I can say about love is that without love, there would be no you. Okay? There would not be any me. There would not be any YouTube. And there would not be any John Lennon telling Paul McCartney how silly his songs are. And there won't be any Paul McCartney telling John Lennon, You suck! Because my songs, your love songs, was five weeks number one in the Billboard chart. Luigi Eusebio says condolence. Thank you. Luigi, Arkinoy's word is wasak. Well, I did an interview on TV for Lord Dibera and Jun Sabayton called Wasak. I will link to that interview. It's uh, in Tagalog. Harry Menes' word is pinapaitan. It's a kind of food here in the Philippines, uh, which they say is a bit bitter but also awesome, but I haven't tried it yet. Mark Bakker's word. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it Bakker because there are two K's in your name, Bakker. If you if if it's supposed to supposedly be pronounced as Baker, then there's just supposed to be just one K. Anyway, Mark's word is Batman. I like Batman, but I like Superman better. Mr. Charlie Zay's word is. Pampelmousse. I think pampelmousse is a kind of a grapefruit. Grapefruits are hit and miss for me. Sometimes they are okay, sometimes it's awesome, sometimes not. Precocious is the word by Cory Willis. Precocious is uh, what Bilbo and Frodo call the ring. The one ring. No? Not? Not precocious? Sorry. Smile is the word from Nisan Reikoku. Okay, that's just one smile. Okay, that's enough for the entire video. Shane Pip's word is pogi. Again. No words needed to explain it. Jesse Tree's word is teleserie. Well, <clears throat> The first time I got hooked on watching a teleserie was uh, Be Careful With My Heart with Sir Chip and Maya. I like it because uh, there was no, not so much drama. It was very light. It was very fun to watch. I tried watching Sir Chip and Maya's new teleserie. Uh, sana dalawa ang puso ko. But I didn't like it so much because there was so much violence in it. I mean, in the second episode alone, there's killing and shooting and you know, so much melodrama. I, I, I gave up. John Ruben Ochia's word is spurned. Well, spurned is a very favorite word of mine because in the past, I dedicated an entire video just on the word spurned. You can find that in the description below. St. Dre Seven's word is Zan Zabarego. Are you trying to make it difficult for me? There's no such word, okay? Unless somebody used it as a proper word, as a name for something, a proper name. There's no such word as Zan Zabarego, okay? Zandi Bida's word is adobo. Adobo used to be a favorite food of mine, especially... Uh, pork adobo but I've gotten you know tired of it my current favorite food right now is ginatang manok ginatang manok sa gata no not wait ginatang adobong 
Adobong manok sa gata. That's it. <laughs> Emmanuel Casalio's word is panday. I've got a very big issue with that uh, TV series right now starring Coco Martin, supposedly a panday. They tried to make it like a King Arthur type thing where uh, the panday, Coco Martin, finds a sword and he's supposedly the promised one, the chosen one, the only person who can wield the sword, pull the sword out of the stone and he's the one, you know, who will save the world. The stupid thing is, he's a panday. Pandays create their own weapons. If he's a panday, he supposedly makes his own sword. Okay? Before any of you superstar actors try to write no, something based on a previous property, do your research, okay? To prevent me from getting mad at you. Alex Cervantes' word is Cherry Z. I don't know what Cherry Z is. Uh, is, is that Cherry Z Mendoza? He's a kind of a songer here in the Philippines. Aside from that, I don't know what that is, okay? Felix Montero's word is Duterte. He's the current president of the Philippines. Gemma Cole's word is Yellow. That's my favorite Coldplay song. Bruno Felgas repeats love as, as his word. I've already said something about love. Pick of Destiny's word is Saudades. Now, you know, I'm a Filipino. I can speak only two languages, English and Filipino. If that is a foreign word, I don't know what it is, okay? Damien Vlog's word is cucumber. I like cucumber because you can pickle it and make pickles and I like pickles on hamburgers and uh, speaking of hamburgers I also like hamburgers with cucumber O2 Tony's word is appeasement YouTube you better practice appeasement with me because this uh, whole video is starting to get on my nerves because of all these big ass words the Aquim 2000's word is again Pogi I already made a comment on that Trina Nico's word is Banana Hammock okay Banana Hammock is two words but okay it's probably one word what I can say about this is this you won't catch me wearing it because there's nothing to see. Your face, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 5, 2. Why not your face, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Anyway, their word is Jollibee. Jollibee is, uh, I like their chicken joy. That's it. Odin Sison's word is teleport. I like the word teleport because it exudes the future. Don't you want to, to, in the future to be able to teleport from one place to another without having to ride any gas guzzling piece of machinery that pollutes the atmosphere? You can be transported instantly from one place to another. That would be nice. That would be very, very nice. Kenny Quintero's word is wingle picker. Two words, but I guess you can use it as one word. Winkle picker is a deadly weapon that people used in the 1950s to wear on their feet to kick people because of the pointed nature of the shoe. It can be used as a weapon. Next time I know I'm going to be in a fight, I'll be bringing a winkle picker. Arc 4070's word is bukake. I don't really watch porn anymore. I don't know why. I, 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 I try to watch the porn that I used to watch uh, before. It doesn't do anything for me anymore. Really have no comment about this. Nerves end. Word is rake. Rake. Can I sleep? 
This word, this word is making me sleep. Zezo 99's word is Arabic, which I'm assuming you are. Hello from the Philippines. I'm glad you're watching my videos. Thank you very much. The Habit 95's word is poutine. I haven't tried poutine yet. I really can't imagine putting together fries and gravy. But maybe I can imagine a little bit. Well, I'm willing to try it. You know, just... Just, just to see what it's all about. Anyway, let's go back to Nerves End's word because uh, he might be pissed. I didn't make any real comment on it. There's so many leaves outside in our garden right now. If you can come over, uh, Nerves End, you can come over, you can rake the leaves. Junigo Espino's word is Penduco. It probably refers to Pedro Penduco the most popular creation of Francisco V. Kuching, which has been uh, adapted into movies and TV shows many times here in the Philippines. I still don't know what it's about. Girl 13's word is to make life difficult for me. This word that he says, no, only one person in the entire world can pronounce this word properly. And that is Liam Dutton. Once again, I will link Liam Dutton's video in the description below. And you can see him pronounce this word. So go, go, go. And watch it. Joe Jovigliano even agrees that it's a good one. YouTube, come together and watch this video. You, you, you can't watch me. You can't make me say this word, okay? No. No. Direct password is calligraphy. Well, that is a specialty of my wife, who is very, very good at calligraphy. Me, not so much. Recta 111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111
obsession with the psychedelic and uh, ketamine uh, induced stupors. Although once once upon a time I was curious to try something that you know would expand my mind, but I changed my mind. Wishuna's word is equivalent. Equivalent is equivalent to the same. Jan Pit Casalo's word is comics. Comics is a strange word because it applies to two different kinds of uh, fields of art. One is, you know, people doing jokes to make you laugh and the other is drawing pictures with words together. Nikki P's word is spaghetti. I'll be cooking spaghetti this Saturday. If you want, you can come over and have some. Nate to d 2 Productions word is TARDIS. Time and relative dimension in space. Like this. It's bigger on the inside. No, actually, what's inside here is actually soap. It smells nice too. XX Metal Adams XX word is wrestling. Wrestling is very much like comics, you know, because uh, two people go at it fighting and they're wearing costumes and they're wearing masks and it's all fun. The Peace Breakers word is urat. Now, I don't know what that word is. I think it's probably a Malaysian word that means vain. No, that's, that's all I know about it. The Batman who laughs word is ink. Well, ink is what I do for a living. I, I'm, not, I'm not a tattoo artist. I just ink comics for a living. Know it all. A. Karj Sep. O2's word is revisionism. I want to revisionism this video right now. Because all of you are making it life difficult for me. Okay? Got me 94's word is kukum. I think it's got to do with animals. Right? Animals? Or something? Tobar the ferryman's word is Chicago. If you leave me now, you take away the biggest part of me. Ooh. N never mind. Mm. Gratdal's word is music. What you heard just a few seconds ago, that was music. My version of music at least. Guik's word is barefoot. I used to like going barefoot, but there's so many things that get to stick on your bare foot feet like you know cockroach droppings and dust and crumbs and ants and cockroaches and I don't go anywhere without any proper foot uh, foot uh. Brian Rocha's word is baby lots of uh, lyricists once they are stumped with you know rhyming words in songs they use the word baby and it works each and every time. Rice man's word is Canada. And if I want to eat some poutine, I will go to Canada. Right? Gerald Asuncion's word is legacy. Well, I suppose my legacy will be my pace, unfortunately. But it's okay. I can live with that. Luis Sullivan Holguin's word is Mexico. I've been mistaken for Mexican several times in the past because of my smile video. I myself want to visit Mexico for the food because I hear the tacos there are just amazing. Edgar Tadeo's word is Andrenocorticotropic. Andrenocorticotropic. Trying to stump me, eh? Trying to stump me, Ed. I know you trying to make life difficult for me. It's something to do with glands. Something wrong with your glands? I think you better go see a doctor. 
Colin Gaming Bro says, Hi. Hello. Vineds wear the slots. And even his, you know, uh, profile picture is a sloth. Everybody wants to be a sloth once in a while. I mean, I'm sure everyone deserves to be a sloth. Everybody's so working so hard. You know, just, you know, sometimes just go, go and uh, relax. It's good for you. Adrian Mercado's word is Scheidenfreude. Exactly! Scheidenfreude. Schadenfreude is uh, taking gleeful enjoyment in the misfortune of others. And I think a lot of you out there is guilty of that, of Schadenfreude upon me, giving me all these big ass words. Like 6988 kid word. Flock. I, I mean, that's Schadenfreude right there. Okay? No. From now on, no. I'd rather talk about Corwin Wash's word, Clementine, which is a kind of orange, which is, I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm sure it's good. Orange is good. Nebster's word is another one of the sh Schreidfreunde thing that, uh, that uh, Aiden Mercado was talking about. Another word that's designed to make, it life, make life difficult for me. No, I won't bite, okay? I won't bite, Nebster. John Zammer's word is the Tagalog version of Scheidenfreude. Nakakapagpabagabag. Ha! Ha 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 You thought I won't be able to pronounce that, John? Hmm. Rick Street's word is ube. It's a... My favorite flavor of ice cream is ube. Water Melanin Energy's word is rice. You know, one of my recent discoveries on YouTube is Jokoy, that Filipino-American uh, comedian. And uh, he has this little bit about rice that's so hysterically funny for me as an Asian. It goes like this, you know. Jokoy's father is uh, uh, a white American and his mother is Filipina. And uh, he was telling the story about how his father would tell him, you know why I married your mom, right? And Jokoy would say, because I like Chinese food. It would shock Jokoy, and he would say, Dad, she's Filipina. And the dad would say, whatever, rice is rice. <laughs> it's so incredibly racist, but it's so funny at the same time. Tam Tam Nation's word is boogle. Who is this Tam Tam Nation? If, 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 if this is somebody who I think it is, Robert Nation, okay. I think it's Robert, Robert Nation. He's been a long time, long time follower of my presence, not only on YouTube, but on Twitter, and on Facebook, and every, every place. So he would know what a boogle is. Boogle, if you want to know, is that. That is boogle. Okay? Bubai Butler's word is duck. RJLW's word is happiness. Okay. I, 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 I this is one of those rare times. <laughs> That I'm actually going to be very serious, YouTube. Very serious here in my, one of my crazy videos. Uh, I'm at that point in my life which where I can say that I'm pretty much as happy as I want to be. You know, people can say I, I could be happier, but no, I don't even want to think about it. I guess uh, I'm happy enough and that's okay with me. Muhammad Ali's word is lagom. Now, I don't know what lagom is. You know, it's rather... I'm going to make an exception on this word and try to Google it and see what this is all about. And 
lagom, ah, okay. Swedish word meaning just the right amount. Just right. Anyway, I guess you can say my happiness is just right. Oh wait, my happiness is just lagom. Lagom? Lagom. Don't be stupid word. Don't be stupid's word is Coke. Coke is my, Coca-Cola at least is my favorite soda. AC Jester's word is fancy. I don't go for fancy sodas like uh, Pellegrino Aranciata. I'd rather have orange juice. Chachizard's word is Geronimo. Part 1, fantastic. Part 2, Alonzi. Part 3, Geronimo. And if you know exactly what I'm referring to, give yourself a prize. Dark Guy, It's Me's word is Elmer. Elmer is the title of a comic book I made about chickens. Goose Games' word is Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon because, believe it or not, I don't have a smartphone. I don't even know what Pokemon is and, and what that game is all about and why people are going crazy for it, at least a while back. Cohen Steph's word is Window. My windows in this house are huge. Really, really huge because I love windows. Uh, in a tropical country, you should have big windows because it allows a lot of light and a lot of air circulation that makes it cool. It would be unwise to have small windows in a tropical country, but it would be wise to have small windows in a cold country like, you know, Iceland. Mark Christian Veslinho's word is chivalry. And Cohen step even comments further is dead. Dead, dead. Well, chivalry is actually just... It's a word that's being... I'm tongue-tied with this word. Okay, I'm tongue-tied. It's been adapted to fit modern uh, definitions, but this goes back to the medieval times about where knights, you know, save damsels in distress. Is it dead? I don't know. But being kind to other people, it should never die. Okay, YouTube, remember that. Be kind. Anthony Dedal's word is pet malu. This is another, this, this is one of those uh, hip words here in the Philippines, at least not too long ago, where people like to uh, pronounce the words backwards. It's not actually a new thing. People have been doing this for a long time. Uh, even in the 70s when I was a younger person, a young, very young person, uh, we've been doing this uh, flipping pronunciations, you know, like highballs, stuff like that. Rin B's word is kolokoy. Well, I, I don't know exactly what the definition of kolokoy is. Maybe it's a comedian. Maybe, uh, s some people use it as an insult. Some people use it as a term of endearment. I don't know. Funk Soul Brothers' word is balikbayan. Balikbayan means uh, somebody Filipino who works abroad and comes back with uh, lot, lots of presents. He's a balikbayan. I have an issue with a lot of uh, people and, uh, and uh, their, their balikbayans just because your loved one was able to work abroad doesn't mean he automatically becomes an ATM. It doesn't automatically mean he becomes super rich that he can just give away money. You know, that's not, that's not a nice thing to do, you know. These people work their, 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 their asses off for their loved ones in the, in the Philippines. The least, the least you can do is be appreciative and that demand, oh, where's my money? Not, not very good. Ace Drawing's word is sexy. 
Well, sexy is in the eyes of the beholder, isn't it? Uh, people's idea of sexy may be different from mine. And that's all I can say about it. Luke Chiranowski's word is scrumptious. Scrumptious probably means very, very nice. Like in terms of food. The lobster we ate was just scrumptious. Metal 1369's word is cartoons. <clears throat> I used to love watching cartoons when I was younger. I don't know why I don't like watching cartoons now. Even uh, advanced animated ones like the Tintin Adventure not too long ago by uh, 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 Steven Spielberg. I don't like watching cartoons. I don't know why. I still like comics. So I can't explain. Innovator 123's word is indubitably. Undoubtedly. Okay? Jeremiah's word is Jeremiah Martinez Martinez <coughs> Jeremiah Martinez <laughs> Jeremiah Martinez word is Elmer My comic book is about uh, uh, chickens that gain intelligence and wants to become humans like the rest of us Jom Jom's word is comicero well Comicero, not too long ago, was defined as somebody who makes people laugh. But sometime in two, uh, 2002, I was looking for a short word that I can use for my website. I, I, I wanted to buy a domain name. And I bought Comicero.com. And that meant I was appropriating that word to mean comic books also. And if anybody has an issue with that, what is the definition of comics? Isn't the definition of comics comedian at the same time comic books? So what's the difference? Okay. Hmm? Hmm? Saito J. Harris' word is stone. I used to work on a comic book called Stone with Bill Sportasho. And uh, the character was actually named after me. Cody Harris's word is motivation. I need all the motivation in the word, world, world, Cody, for me to finish this video. I don't know how many words there still are here. I don't know if I'm even halfway through. Ernie Agtrap's word is basket. My wife watched uh, Black Panther with me yesterday, and she loved the baskets in the Wakandan market lone wolf xpg's word is unicorn isn't that missing a word uh, a letter an r unicorn can i just talk about unicorns because unicorns are nice and they're beautiful and they fly and i like to fly okay is that okay Lone Wolf. Faith race word is Cebu. I was in Cebu a few years ago, and uh, as always, food <laughs> was the one I one, one, one I enjoyed the most. Unfortunately, I was I was able to try CNT lechon. I did have a lechon in one of the one of the places there, and it was tasted different from the ones I get here in Laguna. So that must be it. Eric Strickland's word is nipple. I already showed my half nipple earlier. Aren't you people traumatized enough? Francis Superable's word is cheese. I love cheese. You know, I don't even mean cheddar cheese. I, I, I love brie. I love uh, blue cheese, especially Roquefort. I love... Uh, all kinds of cheese if, if I can have it if I can have a cheese platter of all kinds of so many kinds of cheeses in the morning I'd be the happiest person ever Max Ronfid's word is sensual 
Well, I, I, I really don't have any comment anymore on the word sensual because like I said previously, uh, it's not something I I connect with anymore. I, I, I don't know, I guess I'm getting old. I am RJ Abelia's word is inevitable. Of course, it's inevitable that this video will end soon enough. It can't come soon enough. Hero, hero's word is computer. Without a computer, there would be no videos like this from me. So, thank goodness for the computer. YouTube. YouTube must also be thankful for computer because without computer, there would be no YouTube. Lindy May's word is pumipilantik. Well, there's a lot of meanings to this word, pumipilantik. Sometimes when somebody walks in front of me, something may, may pumipilantik, as they say. It means, anyway, I don't want to get into that kind of uh, talk right now. But, you know, it's just, anyway. Baria T.O.2's word is Pacquiao. He's a boxer. Bushido's word is guapo. Another word, it's just another word for pogi. Mm. Kazu Speed X word is moist. My ass is moist from sitting too long making this video. Moon Jungle's word is rigmarole. This entire video is a rigmarole of, you know, stupidity and... <laughs> Nonsensical shenanigans. Danry Ocampo's word is burger. Okay, Danry. Because you're a good friend of mine and uh, you are a uh, 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 very avid supporter of my work, I will take your word very, very seriously. In my first one word response video years ago, my favorite burger here, here in San Pablo was RC Burger. Not anymore. Hmm? My favorite burger here, here in San Pablo is Hungry Gorilla Burger. Any kind of Hungry Gorilla Burger. I think it's a local uh, restaurant. There's, it's, it's only here in San Pablo that has, has that. And it's awesome. If you're ever in town, you let me know. I'll have some delivered. Okay? Joe Hovillano. Did, didn't you comment already on the chibble rating? Anyway, your his word, Joe's word is spacewalk. Two words! That's two words! I, I, I have a good mind to disqualify you right here. But okay, it can be considered one word because those two words go together. One day, one day, I will go on a spacewalk. I'll take you with me if you like. Edward Bryan's word is inspire. There's a lot of things that inspire me. Good music, good movies, uh, good artwork, basically. It's just very, very inspiring. <gasps> That's a very serious answer for me. Psycho Les five word. Psycho Les five's word is pansit. Pansit. P pansit. What? She's going to get uh, pambili ng taho. Parang gusto ko rin yung taho, ah. Sige. Ikan. Ha? Ha? Sige. No. See, YouTube, I'm not stopping that. I'm not stopping the video because I want you all to see me eat taho at the end of the video. Psycho-less word is pansit. Now, I don't know how long until that taho gets here, so I'll talk about pansit quite extensively. Pansit is the last word in the list. There's a, there are different types of pansit. It's, a, it's actually a noodle dish uh, here in the Philippines that's uh, Chinese-inspired, and there are many variations of it. There's uh, pansit canton, there's pansit bihon, there's palabok, there's uh, pancit hab, hab and there's 
lots of ways of cooking it. I think my favorite of all is, I think pancit bihon. Because I like the taste of the noodles. Because it's very, very thin glass noodles. And uh, there's uh, stuff in it like green beans and uh, mushrooms and carrots and sometimes chicken and sometimes well people object to having liver in it but i like to have liver in it chicken liver actually and i think that's it i think I, i've gone through all the words in here of course there are a few a few times when i i, I ignored certain comments because they didn't follow the one word rule and uh, there are people who's been asking me to do the smile no i've done it enough and then and then there's this guy vacation lover i specifically said don't give me super califragilistic spiali joshus and yet he went ahead and gave me that word so you're banned from my videos forever pe pe banned from my videos forever okay no, i'm kidding i'm kidding you're not banned you're just you're just on notice okay i'm watching you dami <laughs> Right here is what the <laughs> What? Right here is what they call here in the Philippines as taho. It's actually silken tofu with uh, caramelized sugar and syrup and uh, some uh, tapioca balls and uh, it's a, a bit hot and it's very nice I don't think I can, I can finish all of this YouTube just let me taste a little bit of it so, <laughs> so nice <laughs> it's so nice ah my god Anyway, that's it for this video. It's so long. Very, very long. I don't know when this will be uploaded. So, till next time, YouTube. Bye-bye.